This is going to be our first example on manometers and using manometers to measure the gas pressure inside of some kind of a chamber. Now, remember, manometers are simple devices where you can fill up a tube with some sort of known liquid and use its hydrostatic equilibrium state to essentially determine what the pressure in a certain chamber is that's filled with gas. Now, in this example, we have this gas contained inside of this chamber and to this chamber we have this manometer device that's filled with some sort of a liquid. In this case it's mercury and mercury has a mass density of 13,600 kilograms per meter cubed. Now the difference in height between the level of mercury here on the right side and on the left side is h and that height is 37 centimeters so this question is asking us to figure out what the pressure of the gas is given this h value and this mass density in the manometer now there are a couple assumptions that we're making one is that this system is in hydrostatic equilibrium and that the liquid is incompressible. So this is mercury, it is incompressible, the system is in hydrostatic equilibrium. And what do we know about liquids in hydrostatic equilibrium? Well, if we were to draw a horizontal line anywhere inside of this tube, we know that the pressure along that line inside of the tube is the same. So the two points that I have drawn here, those are going to have the same pressure. So we're really interested in this point here where the gas meets the liquid, right? This point right here. So if I were to draw a horizontal line through that point, then I can basically try to figure out what the pressure here is on this point, and that will be the pressure here on the left side, which is equal to the pressure of the gas. Now we can use our hydrostatic pressure equation, which is P, is equal to some p naught plus rho g d. In this case, our d is this height of 37 centimeters, which if I convert it into meters, this would be 0 0.37 meters, right? I just divided 37 by 100 to get this value. And this manometer on the right side is open to the atmosphere. So if we're gonna measure h from p naught, which is right here, this is p naught, this is equal to 1 atm, which is 101 300 pascals. So we can use this hydrostatic pressure equation to essentially figure out what the pressure along this horizontal line is. And I'm gonna call this pressure A, and I'll call this pressure B. And we know that pressure A is equal to pressure B and pressure B essentially is the pressure of the gas. So let's do that. Let's figure out the pressure of the gas is equal to P naught, which is 101, 300 pascals plus rho. Remember rho is mercury. The mass density of mercury is 13,600 kilograms per meter cubed times gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times D, which is, in this case, H, which is 0 0.37 meters. So if I were to just plug this into a calculator, I could figure out that the pressure of the gas is about 150,664 pascals, which is about 150.7 kilopascals, so there it is. The pressure of the gas is about 151 kilopascals. Now, let's do a follow-up question. Let's look at this chamber here that's filled with gas, and what if I went and I attached a pressure gauge to this chamber, right? So this little gauge would be the gauge pressure. Now, what would this be equal to? What would the gauge pressure be equal to knowing that the gas pressure was 150.7 kilopascals. Now remember, gauge pressure, which I'll just, for shorthand, P sub G, is equal to whatever pressure you're measuring minus one ATM. Now that's standard, it's always one ATM. 
In this case, our P0 is equal to 1 atm. But remember, P0 is just whatever initial pressure you're using to start measuring H with. So the gauge pressure is always the pressure minus 1 atm. So the pressure that we're looking at here is this gauge, or I'm sorry, this gas pressure. And that is equal to, well, we just found that out, right? Right here on the right hand side. That is equal to about 150.7 kilopascals minus 1 atm, which is 101.3 kilopascals. So the gauge pressure would simply read about 49.4 kilopascals.